We're at lesson 15.1c. We're going to finish, complete, a two-way frequency table that's partially filled out. When we're presented with a frequency table that is incomplete, we can use the given data to complete it to fill in the numbers. Here we have Dalmatians and not Dalmatians. So that would be any type of dog that is not a Dalmatian. German Shepherd, Springer Spaniel, whatever, Poodle, Chihuahua, anything that's not a Dalmatian. Then up here we're seeing deaf and not deaf and the totals. It's showing us that Dalmatians, that 23 are deaf and 77 are not deaf. It's also showing us that if it's not a Dalmatian, there's 96 that are not deaf out of a total of 100. And it's also showing us that for deaf dogs, there's 27 and it's out of a total of 200. Well, we can fill this out right now by taking the total 200 and subtracting the number of not Dalmatian dogs. Well, 200 minus 100 is 100. So we know this total is 100. Another way we could have filled in this cell is by adding the number of Dalmatians that were deaf and not deaf, 23 plus 77, is 100. That's 23 out of 100, which is 23%. Now, for the not Dalmatians, we know that 96 are not deaf out of 100. We can just subtract 100 minus 96, and we're going to get 4. We also could have, if this 4 wasn't here, we could have done the total 27 and subtracted the number of deaf Dalmatians, 23, to get the 4. So we could have either used these two numbers, or we could have done like I did and used these two numbers, but either way we're going to subtract to get that 4. Now we need to fill in this cell. We have a total of 27 deaf dogs out of 200. We can either subtract 200 minus 27, or we could add the not deaf Dalmatians to the not Dalmatians. Either way, we're going to get 173. Now, if you look, for the not Dalmatians, we had four that were deaf out of 100, and for Dalmatians, we had 23 out of 100. When we compare the 23 out of 100, the 23%, to four out of 100, which is only 4%, we see that if it's a Dalmatian, there's more association with being deaf than not Dalmatian. So yes, there is an association here between Dalmatians and deafness. Dalmatians carry a gene that causes deafness more so than other dogs. So here's the problem we're going to be working on. It says 7th and 8th grade students were asked whether they preferred science or math. We need to finish the two-way table using the given data. So there's data already given here. So we're going to start with this cell. We see the total of 7th and 8th grade students is 352. And the total of just 7th graders is 192. We subtract to find the total of 8th graders. The difference between 352 and 192 is going to be the total of 8th graders. We subtract and we get 160. We know that the total of 8th graders is 160. Now we can work on the other cells that need to be completed. We can complete this cell. If the total number of 7th graders is 192 and 144 prefer math, we can subtract to find how many prefer science. We do 192 minus 144, and we find out that 48 7th graders prefer science. Now we've got that cell filled out. Now, if 48 7th graders and 64 8th graders prefer science, we can add to get the total who prefer science. 48 plus 64 is equal to 112 total that prefer science. Now we only have 
two cells left to fill. So let's do this cell. We can now subtract the 64 eighth graders who prefer science from the total number of eighth graders to find how many prefer math. We do 160 minus 64, and we get that 96 prefer math. Last, we can find the total who prefer math by adding the 7th and 8th graders who prefer math, 144 plus 96, which is equal to 240. Or we could subtract the total who prefer science from the total of all the 7th and 8th grade students together and do 352 minus 112. We'll still get 240. Either way, we'll get the same result, whether we add these two cells together or we subtract this cell from that total. We'll get 240. So you can complete a frequency table by using the given data and using addition or subtraction. Just make sure that your numbers make sense, that 112 plus 240 is equal to 352, that this cell plus this cell is equal to this cell, this cell plus this cell is equal to this cell, and when you add these two together, it equals this total, and when you add these two together, it equals that total. Then you'll know you did it correctly. We're now moving on to relative frequency, conditional relative frequencies, and there's some more. These are the last five lessons for eighth grade math. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and I hope you join me for the next lesson. Bye.